Okay, so I'm just going to make a very short click, uh, quick video here that has a look at how to use ClickView. Um, so not ClickView, that has a look at how to use Office Mix. So with Office Mix, uh, it essentially comes up here as a bit of a, um, as a tab for your PowerPoint once you download it. Uh, so you can see here, I've just, you know, I've got one slide here at the beginning. Uh, it says Office Mix demo. That's what I'm going to be giving you a very quick run through of. And then I've got a new slide here. Now, to start with, one of the good things about Office Mix is up here it says quizzes, videos, apps. If I click on that, I can actually then uh, put in questions uh, during my PowerPoint. So if I want my kid to make sure that my kids are actually watching it, uh, and I've just clicked the multiple choice one here, and it comes up like this. Uh, and so if I'm asking them stuff about energy systems, for example, I might say, you know, what causes uh, fatigue in the a lactacid system all right and i'll give them a couple of options here so my first option is um pc depletion all right uh, and then the other option i might give them is um lactic acid build up okay and i can um, add more answers uh, than that if i choose to just press here and add another one this one is the correct answer. I've given the tick. If this is the correct one, I click that one. Uh, single choice. I can do multiple choices as well. Uh, I'm going to shuffle answers. Uh, allow retry. Uh, I can limit their attempts as well, but I don't want to do that. If I down here, I click preview. I can then see what that's going to look like for the students as they go through and complete this PowerPoint or this video uh, that I'm making. So that'll be it. Uh, and then uh, you can then that'll stop in the video the kids answer that and then they can uh, move on and the video will complete uh, continue and go through uh, the next slide so i can just you know, add another slide and um, this one might be uh, the lactic acid system okay and then i have information here and then a new slide uh, and then i'll go to mix here at the top and i'm going to add another um little question here for them uh, i might choose a multiple response poll thing uh, and it will come up and okay insert the question here and then they've got multiple choice uh down there as we go so that's essentially you know it's just setting up a powerpoint you can use that for any powerpoint but the one really big benefit is being able to add in these uh questions uh, for the students as they go so once you've made your powerpoint the next thing you want to do is record it so up here it says record uh, slide recording so I'm going to press that and then it's going to open up into a different system for me now over here on the right hand side uh, it says here no camera now if I select the camera it's actually not going to work for me at this point because I've actually already got um, another system using that camera to make this video so I'm going to turn that back off uh, select there no camera I'm using the microphone that's attached to uh, the computer so that's all good all right and so I'm going to go up here and I'm press start recording so now, as I'm talking and you're hearing me, uh, I'm also making an Office Mix video. Uh, you can see that my pen comes up straight away. I can underline things and annotate it, circle, you know, pdhp.net, put on the, uh, this is me, tick, right? Um, that changes here. I can change the color down the right-hand side. Uh, let's say it's blue. Then I'm gonna do another circle, uh, or I might want uh, to rub something out. I can then delete it, okay? so. It's just going to record this though as I do this. So a big circle recording my voice as I go. I then click next, go to the next slide. Now, my recording is going to stop there because the next slide is actually, I can't record on it because it's going to stop the video and it's going to make um, the kids answer this question. I then go to the next slide and I can click record again and keep going. So record, here I'm going to talk about the lactic acid system. You know, its main cause of fatigue is to build up with the hydrogen iron. It's going to last roughly one minute to three minutes depending on the intensity, blah, blah, blah. And then when I'm finished, uh, so yeah, next the one's got a question again, so it'll stop recording. Uh, by the time you get to the end though, you can just go up here and press stop recording. Okay, and then you want to exit this screen. So I go over here and close it. Okay, and now I've got this um, all good. And up here in the, if I just slide this out of the way, up here in the top right hand corner there, there's now my audio. And so I can play the audio there if I want to. Um, but if I actually go back into this record slide mode, I can also preview. So if I press preview, it'll then show me what it looks like and what it sounds like.
which for some reason, well, actually, I know why the audio didn't work for me because my computer's on mute. Uh, hopefully that audio works for you. <laughs> but that's essentially how you use it, okay? Um, so you stop recording, you come out here. Once you're here, you can then export uh, as a video. So you can save that to um, your desktop. So I can click here, export. I'm not gonna do it uh, as small as possible just because this is a trial. Uh, click next. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose where to save it. Give it a name, Office Mix Demo, click save, and it'll then save that as a, a movie file for me. The other thing that I can do is up to upload this to my mixers. So if I click that, it's then gonna ask me to, uh, over here on the right, um, create an interactive online mix and share it with others. So yep, that's what I wanna do. So next. Okay, it's gonna upload to Office Mix. It may ask me to log in, uh, and it has. Now, to be honest, I can't remember uh, what I signed in with. So let's try my school account and see if that works. Uh, uploading a new mix. Next. It'll then upload it into uh, the Office Mix, essentially like an iCloud type thing. Uh, and so in that cloud, I, it'll then give me an embed code and a sharing URL that I can use for, to share the video with my students. Uh, when I share it with my students, it then means <clears throat> if they're accessed through Office Mix, all those questions will work. So I go here, show me my mixes. <clears throat> okay, so here's my mix. Um, and so there's my share. I can uh, use that to share it. I can download it as a video if I want to as well. So later on, if I want to, I can send it out to as an email, um, share, embed. Um, now obviously it talks about your different permissions there at the bottom, but you can give it a description, give it a title um, and all those types of things. And then you can share it, you can embed it. Uh, and the thing is that once the students have actually gone through and answered it, um, what you end up with. So if I go to my mixes here, so I've used this one here before. So I can go into here and this is my video. Um, what I actually want to see is the report. And so in the report here, if it manages to load up, which it may not at this point because I'm outside using wireless stuff, um, but essentially, the report, uh, let's have a look. And I'll, oh, that's not that one. I want this one. Sorry, guys. Go back. Analytics. Hopefully, I actually got my kids to do this one online. Okay, uh, so 24 visitors, 26 viewers. Uh, the duration that they took to actually watch it. Um, okay, so I want more. Uh, so that's just for the first slide, essentially, and how long they've taken on it and all those types of details. It should also give me, um, so when it comes to questions and stuff, it should then give me a report then on whether or not they've answered the question. I think that one's a question. Okay, so it's got there a few anonymous users there. So nine out of 18 people got that correct uh, and what the question was, etc. You can get this to print out, um, you know, as a whole uh, system, so by exercises. Okay, so these are the questions. These are what the students put in. And normally you make the kids log in, so like Blake did here, um, whereas um, most of the students that I sent there didn't actually log in, so my data then wasn't overly useful, but you can make them log in and then they have to answer the questions. It gives you some information about whether or not they've actually understood it um, beforehand, uh, so that before you go into class, once your kids have watched this, you can have a look at what they've done, and that will then help them, or help you, to determine who's watched it, whether or not they've understood it, and what you can do with them uh, from there on, in terms of interacting with them in uh, your classroom. So that's essentially it. It's really not hard, it's just about recording it, turning on your video, and then uh, you can upload it and share it, or you can just save it as a video file, which means you don't get all those interactive questions within it, but you still get your video 
and then you can share that with your class in any format that you like. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop my recording and hopefully this was useful for you.